escape from restrictions of crowded places and their boredom. The famous city of Quebec has its quaint section. With all the Anne de Beaupre close to the city is probably the most famous church on the North American continent. The Shrine of St. Anne's draws in every year, who come with a deep-rooted faith in her miracles, which has actually produced results defying explanation. Montmorency Falls. They drop 274 feet, whereas Niagara's cataract is a mere 165. Then 50 miles from the ocean is a mixture of the old world and the new, the Paris of the North, Canadians proudly call it. The soaring Gothic of the Peace Tower rising from Parliament buildings dominates Ottawa, Canada's seat of government and frequent scene of the pomp and ritual, part of the ceremony of governing this great country. Here is a busy center of national life and international diplomacy. The Chen status to the mother country. Strictly Canadian and strong in its own traditions is the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Many and varied are the present day duties of the constable, as he is officially called. Chief among these is the enforcement of law in a vast expanse of wilderness areas where, because of the Mountie and the respect he commands, the city man seeking recreation can venture in safety. His first and basic duty is the protection of great national parks and their thousands of annual visitors. Each province has its own game laws, and the ardent fisherman can be sure there will be a Mountie somewhere around if he is tempted to take just one more after catching his limit. It has been said that part of the standard of living in America is the wilds of Canada, but many a sportsman from the States feels that Canada offers an escape from standards of living that have long since made such fishing as this a dream of yesterday. The national parks are also reservations for Indian tribes that once roamed all of Canada, and the roving constable depends on them for information and assistance in his job of policing vast areas. The Chippewa, or Ojibwe, is one of the largest Canadian tribes. They still hold on to the dress and many of the ancient customs of their nation, with particular pride in colorful handmade costumes. And the Indians look upon the Mountie as a distant friend. They know he guards their interests. Occasionally, he will ride in upon a scene that is familiar, a prospector at work. His identification must be him washing sand in his search for gold throughout a lifetime. In the ranch country, it is rare that livestock is stolen, for the would-be rustler never knows when he'll encounter the roving Mountie, who may patrol an enormous area, but avoids any exact schedule. He knows every rancher and ranch hand in the country he covers, and they're glad to see him ride in. He is their contact with the world outside when they are on the range. The Alpine Club of Canada welcomes visitors who can qualify for membership by climbing a peak of at least 2,500 feet above the timberline. And here in the Rockies, they are trying their skill on the edge of the Bugaboo Glacier. The crest is 10,000 feet up, and the stony fortress-like formations and many scenes of spectacular grandeur make this British Columbia locale one of the world's finest alpine settings. Kipling once offended Canadians by calling their country Our Lady of the Snows. They were somewhat sensitive about their rugged winters and thick blankets of white. The tremendous growth of interest in winter sports has changed all that. Nowhere else in the world does winter provide more fun and sport, not only for Canadians, but for thousands of visitors from the state.
Here in Canada is ski country to accommodate all the enthusiasts who have no fear of a broken leg. They carry their sprints with them. The Laurentian Mountains, just a little north of Montreal, are within reach of thousands who flock here in winter to enjoy the deep powdery snow and sporty slopes. The view is often exciting from the top of Mount Baldy, and there are ski runs reserved only for the most daring. But the experts thrill to the wild rush of the long... Here are no gentle slopes for the novice. Control of nerve and muscle must be flawless. Split-second judgment perfect on ski runs expertly contoured by nature. Yes, this is the land from the boredom of routine things. Canada, the ski.